Maryland looked to go undefeated this season against Illinois after an upset road win in Champaign back in January. But the number 14th ranked Fighting Illini had other plans in February as Illinois gets the win in College Park 85 to 80. Before this one even started, Maryland had a huge scare as Dante Scott, who was slated to start the game, slipped in the tunnel and injured his knee. As soon as the ball was tipped, Scott was on the bench with a brace, but it didn't stop him from 33 minutes of play. I think when he got in, if you watch, he, he just was a little bit hesitant. But once he got going, you know, he was the Dante that's been really Dante over the last two months. He's been really good. Despite the slow start from Scott, Jameer Young led all scorers in the first half with 15 points, and Juju Reese poured in 10 more for Maryland. But Marcus Damask and Terrence Shannon Jr. kept Illinois afloat and secured the lead going into halftime. You know, they got the ball out quick, and, you know, Shannon, one of the fastest players in the country, so um, he's a tank downhill. Young continued his scoring in the second, but Maryland's total team field goal percentage went down 15.7%. Not only was Illinois' defense kicking into high gear, but so was Terrence Shannon Jr., who capitalized in the fast break. He finished with 27. He's a pro. He's going to make some good moves and score in the first half. But for the most part, he did most of his damage in transition. The Xfinity Center was jumping in the final few minutes as Maryland was closing the gap and could just taste another top 20 win against Illinois. But just when a win was potentially in sight, it was gone in the blink of an eye as Illinois executed on both ends, securing the 85-80 to 80 win. The dub for Illinois marks the Illini's first win in College Park since 2011. Maryland falls to 14-12 on the regular season, and will head to Wisconsin on Tuesday in search of win number 15. For Terrapin Sports Central from the Xfinity Center, I'm Ricky Podgorski.